Hey guys, I thought I would make a video on how to set up a um, overhead webcam down to the piano to then be able to use an OBS uh, software setup where you have um, the virtual keyboard and the overhead shot, maybe a second um, camera coming from the computer. Anyway, I want to show you how all this is done and how to um, connect everything. I know when I first wanted to do this, I had no idea how to get that started. And it was a lot of, um, a lot of research, and asking questions and trial and error and that, that kind of stuff. And so maybe this video can help you, uh, you know, get there quicker if, if you'd like to. Okay, so come with me and I'll show you. One of the things you're gonna need is this, um, this audio interface. Now, not necessarily this particular one, um, but this this is a Scarlett uh, Focusrite. This is the um, two two I two I think. Right, it's got two two inputs. Um, where I can put in, uh, I can have my microphone uh, as one of the inputs, and I can also have um, my keyboard as the other. Okay, so um, there's lots of different versions of this type of interface. Uh, you'll need one of those uh, if you want to um, also have a microphone, right? Uh, this one has the shock, shock, uh, whatever they call that, the shock absorber type um, connection. So like when you move it, it doesn't make all the extra noise or you bang into it a little bit. Um, so let's take a look behind the piano and what some of the connections are gonna, you're gonna need. Okay, so behind the piano, um, I've got this auxiliary out, right? I've got this type of uh, plug and that's for my pedal. This one here is for the pedal. Uh, this USB is um, how you connect the virtual keyboard. Okay, so uh, really just those simple connections right there. Um, and then I'll show you where they all connect. Okay, so right above my keyboard, uh, you will see this, this webcam right here. I just have it um, kind of taped into position uh, this is the actual webcam. I still have the box. Uh, and I think I just kind of looked on uh, Amazon and <laughs> just got like one of the popular ones. So I didn't really know what I was looking for, but it seems to be working great. Um, you see that this cord um, ends up with a, a, a dongle, an Apple uh, USB to whatever they call this end. I don't know if that's a it's some sort of USB, their latest USB C or three or something. I don't know, but whatever. It looks like that. And uh, because on the side of the cam, uh, on the side of the computer, you see there's these very thin, the one in the middle there, very thin little port that you have to plug into. Um, so that's what you can do. It's really actually on, on this other side here I have a couple more but anyway that's where you're gonna plug so let me uh, let me fire up the computer so that you can kind of see it all in action okay so down here you'll see uh, this is the OBS icon I'm gonna click that and then right next to it is the VMPK virtual MIDI piano keyboard Okay, so there's OBS. This is what uh, it's kind of like the remainder of my um, my first live stream. This is how I, how I left off. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of that for now. And uh, then let's go down here again and let's click the VMPK. You notice that that brings up a um, a virtual 
keyboard, right? Okay, so now you see I have the um, I have the actual keyboard where my hand is floating here, and then I have the virtual keyboard, which should give me some light up keys, but it's not. So let's take a look why. All right, so we've got a couple of wires here. We've got um, this one is the virtual um, MIDI connection. This one is the webcam. And this one over here is leading down to my audio interface. Okay, so up here on the screen, you'll see that I have my OBS set up. Down here is the real keyboard, that's from the webcam. Up here is the virtual keyboard. And there I am with my camera recording this, okay? Um, so, by the way, when, when we look at, right, when I play these notes, they show up on the virtual uh, keyboard, okay? And then there's all these things down in here that, um, are the different um, you know, audio and different windows and setups. So obviously I could make a whole video about OBS setup, um, but it's probably better to watch somebody who f like uh, it focuses on that and that is a pro with that rather than me trying to explain it to you. So right. one last thing, we've got the, um, the wire here, the headphone wire leading out to my headphones. Um, oh, one other thing I'll talk about is some of you might want to just record um, with your iPhone and you might want to like put this right in this type of a wire right into your headphone jack or you might have an output jack in the back um, and then send this over to something like, let me show you, something like this. This is the iRig 2. Okay, um, down here it's got a little picture of headphones and a guitar. Now that's really any instrument that you can plug um, one of these type of plugs into, right? So here's the important thing. These have two lines on them. However, pay close attention. Is this, this, I learned the hard way. This, when you take that, that little um, adapter off, let me see if I can focus on this. Sorry, it won't really focus on it. There we go. You can see maybe, let me try it over here. Ah, uh, there you go. You see how it's got three black lines? Okay, as opposed to two black lines. Let me put them next to each other, okay? So the little one, three black lines. Do they call this a TRRS? And this would be a TRS, okay? So if you're not careful, you'll get one of these wires and it'll be a TRS. It'll have two lines. But you really need this with the three lines if you want your sound to come from your piano and go into there. Anyway, uh, that's the explanation about this wire. So you have one side of it plugged into your piano, you have the other side of it plugged into your uh, iRig 2, and then this is the dongle that would attach to the phone, right? Just like you plug your phone in to charge it, boom, you would plug this in, and now it's receiving the information um, that you're sending from your piano, right, the audio, and that way you can record your piano without any background noise. No clicking of the keys, no dogs barking in the background, nothing just what's coming from your piano.